Hello, here is Eric again from LaserScan TV from LaserScan Europe. Um, this uh, video we show you the news from LaserScanner hardware, software and accessory for August 2020. If you like to be informed, then you have to watch this video. First, we like to start with hardware. I have uh, something great here under my table. <laughs> That's here. We have the new freestyle from Faro. I think we are one of the first customer from Germany who get it. Uh, we make this big video about the freestyle with the Volker from Faro. And now we have our own. Uh, it's more important for the German customers. Uh, but uh, for everybody on the market, um, the Freestyle 2 now already delivered to customer who ordered this. Uh, there. So then other hardware. Dot product, also handheld scanner. Uh, announced that uh, in the August they make a big update. Uh, they have um, they announced that they have the 4.1 version uh, as beta. They supported the real sense, the 445 sensor from Intel, um, and they make the Surface Go 2 ready to work with the system. I think everything you find them. I think we 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 put this here inside. You find them on the on the blog site from dot product also that's some uh, great announcements uh, there is also here on the twitter channel you can see also they show you the examples how different this looks um, if you use different kinds of uh, sensors as they have here the d415 the l515 um, from intel real sense as a different sensors compared we have these as you also the 10 sr here and um, different kind of scanner but of, of all, all of the results um, looking great and useful for the customer. Then, next one, it shields them, make big announcement. I have to jump in here inside. As they present now the GeoSlam Go, here we have it. And they make a great price here, like $30,000. And that is the big information that is already a kind of an um, GeoSlam Revo, but it is a little bit other sensors what they use. Here, as is um, uh, a little bit, the sensor is a little bit lower version of the previous um, system from the RT. Uh, it is a little bit slower, but it's give you a very good price. The original price uh, was like maybe forty thousand for the uh, Revo and fifty thousand dollars for the Horizon. As it is already existing on the market, but they dropped the price now down, or maybe it's about more as fifty. I, for me, it looks like that is mostly the half of the price, not not really the half, but not so far away and um, the um, the stuff is that um, they have uh, like the measurement rate is only 43,000 measurement per second this is a lower measurement rate and this reduced also the speed how you can walk but you are able to use this instrument to capture whole scenes getting very good results uh, for a very good price yeah and very attractive for people uh, who maybe like to start with slim scanning um, and then, on the other hand, is also that they now announced that they have already uh, the 6.1 version and the most important is that they have this adjust to control, also from, from my point of view this means you can put um, fixed points uh, in your SLAM algorithm uh, to place it and to use it for like uh, co correction of the data. Um, and um, place it on the right position. Uh, this was something what many people asked for in the past. Uh, now it's already done and available for the market. So then let, let's go further. Now we go a little bit in the uh, hexagon world. Uh, it is uh, like a, maybe you're thinking what is the laser track doing in laser scanning TV? But um, the hexagon scanner, the absolute tracker ETS 600 have now a small option to doing scanning uh, jobs and as we can see here in this video they have integrated in this uh, system um, a camera you can choose from the camera you can uh, choose areas here and then then you can define here I will let this one yeah you uh, then you can define in this area like in um, an area where you are interested for scanning, like here, profile, and then the system uh, use the same coordinates from your picture um, for the scanning process, and now it will be this area now will be scanned automatic from this um, 
lizard tracker. Yeah, you see, you know, it will be shows how many points he shoot. It's not the same resolution like in modern laser scanner, but it's pretty similar, like one of the first scanners. And it's, of course, high accurate because it's a very accurate laser tracker. And then they have it also for larger areas where you can choose it and scan them at a lot of points. Means that the guy who operate this, he don't have to go there, something. I don't know what uh, they say about the accuracy. I will be not them accurate like you use these SMR stuff to be lower accuracy. But you have the option with your tracker to scan some points here. And also, that's maybe also interesting, it's like a rotation. As you can put a scanner in the middle of a cylinder, cylinder part and scan automatic some curves and get some points without touching this with the SMR by yourself. Okay, that's uh, the news from uh, Hexagon. I don't find any more stuff from Hexagon than for this month. Uh, then very interesting is a Belgian company. They say that they have in developed in like a road mapping system based on a solid state scanner. That is that's what is interesting for me. You see it here on the side. Uh, system looks like here. You see it. It's a two solid state scanner um, combined by a pole. This is how it looks if it's mounted on a car. And they say that they can measure with this system like in an accuracy from less as two millimeter and 180,000 points per second and 60 um, hertz frame. Also the accuracy, it's amazing for a solid state scan. So I never heard it because every other solid state scanner was from starting from 20 millimeter and uh, more. I don't know how they do that. It's uh, pretty new information. Uh, we'll inform uh, myself in the future more. Um, what I don't see that they have any GPS and IMU units. Um, I don't know how they make the orientation or it's only a local capturing that I'm not sure how they do this and how they really final the final um, accuracy are if they put everything together. You know, that's uh, this accuracy is only accuracy of the laser scanner, this one. Okay, um, these companies are, it's interesting, working together with uh, many global, like automotive supplier companies, Siemens we have here, Cosworth, uh, there is a lot of, I think it's a part or in development what's come out from also this topic autonomous driving. Okay, it's um, then another point, is a German company, Framos, I like only the application there. They developed a scan a sensor here based on inter wheel sense. They call them Framos D400E, as it's on D400 uh, Intel, but they make this IP66 that you can use it like, yeah, this is a uh, pretty strong um, specification. You can so you use it in harsh environments. And they put this here on the robot for some um, research for automatic farming. I, uh, I like this. It's a good idea, yeah. That's uh, as they, they tell them here in this paper how you can use the sensor uh, in the application of automatic farming, yeah. something on site. Um, then we are finished with hardware, and then we go to software. Software, um, Japanese company Elysium uh, announced that they now have a workflow where they can make uh, automatic CAD modeling, or I would say. Feature extraction um, from URVs and mobile mapping scan. And I think they also told them that they can do it in combination with tripod scans together. I think that's a little bit unique uh, because the data structure of mobile scans and tripod scans are completely different. And especially for feature extraction, I think it's not so easy to put everything together and find some features out. Of course, uh, mostly they're done their planes. Um, yeah, you can get some structure out and can use it. I think it will be not this automatic feature extraction will not achieve the accuracy what you need for maybe for street design, but of course maybe there are some application, like if you only want to have clearance or you need these information for maybe, um, what is an application that's the area covering of your mobile telephone network pole position. I think maybe for this application is this the right software. Um, go further, I have it only here in on, on our German website. It's only announcement, the SketchUp bring some news um, on the mark, um, as it's some news um, that they have now new functionality since August. Maybe some people from you use um, uh, SketchUp. We have few customers here in Germany use it. They have with these, um, I think the Trimble have a workflow to SketchUp. I think they uh, pushed this a lot with all these application on site like Tekla. 
Um, and there's also this uh, one company who developed an independent uh, point uh, cloud Im um, importer for SketchUp, and that's also available for the market. Uh, also this, um, I know that some customers use it as entry CAD system f um, for their, um, to use it with scan data and modeling, especially from the construction side. Other for people that are interested, check this out, new functionality, SketchUp. And then we, as the last uh, information, that's interesting for English audience, and especially American um, people who visit the channel. Um, the famous PointCap company, you know, our friends from PointCap, they are now announced that they have an agreement with the um, UK company, uh, Engel, um, American company, sorry, from Sila. Uh, Sila is a, is a big number, I think, in the US. I think they are a large reseller of Trimble, and I think they also go to a platinum partner of AutoCAD. And they use now PointCap for especially the software division, like these AutoCAD uh, customer group, to have a solution to for the 2D mapping application or the 2D maps from um, point clouds. I think that is uh, the goal. And Sila will, um, yeah, will be the new master reseller for America, will handle the complete um, American business for PointCap and will help them to getting more customer in the market. Um, I think it's a very good news for the point cap guys. And we are finished with software. Finally, we go to the system um, to accessory, and there we are very happy to announce that we are already finished our tripod for horizontal scans. It was a long time development. Um, the idea was uh, that few customers need a scan position outside from windows, facades, um, like, art, um, like on the roof position or some industry places. And we want to put our scanner out that we can scan from, like we put the C out, that we can scan from outside, but it has to be safe. Yeah, and that was a big point that we don't have any movement in our um, no new position. It is safe that your scanner not drop down or fall on some people. Um, and this, all this development we put here in the system, it is, should be very good to mount and it should be portable. That's what we have done here. So we have here a very long mast. Uh, I think it's going up to three meters maximum. Now two, two, two um, meters, 60 centimeters. Um, and we can mount some scanners on a horizontal and vertical position. Then we can put everything together in one big box. I think it's maybe a little bit, it's not the lightest weight then, but you can put this in one if you like. You, otherwise you won't have it lower weight and you can use two boxes as you can then have it additional in another box, uh, but we won't have it to one that make it easier shipment. As I said, we, the idea was having a safe um, horizontal tripod, what have a very good um, uh, stability for scanning. It's easy to um, mount as a different mounting option and uh, is very flexible for transport. This was the goals. Now it's ready, now it's in our shop. We will also speak to a local reseller in the international market. To present this there and uh, but if you want all that direct we give you now in uh, the beginning price is five thousand euros uh, some discount for the startup yeah and then to the end uh, we have to show, show something that more from the information we had this week uh, you don't see it in um, in english but we had this week the guys here from asap is uh, also german startup company and they make these uh, this is an um, scanning spray also what you can use to powder it your uh, surfaces but it's not powder it's just a new development from the typical powder stuff to uh, especially the blue one is a version what you uh, can use and um, for um, that uh, goes automatic away after an hour or something you don't have to clean the surface after the scanning if you use the blue one if you need this for a more longer one then you have the white one um, very great stuff. Um, check out the guys from ASAP. They have a local dealer um, uh, around the world. They told me they have now 70 um, dealers in the world uh, where you can buy it in your local market. Of course, shipment is not easy every time you know this is a spray. Uh, but this is a great new stuff. I think it's a very good development. Uh, check this out. Um, if you find not, don't call us from international, but uh, they have the local dealer should be have also this promo material where you can give this to you and you can try it by your own I think it's a very nice idea in this point I do a little bit like this give me a thumb up if you like this video and uh, Also subscribe our channel if you are interested in 
more um, hot information about the scanning mark. Uh, see you for the next. Uh, it's a scanning TV session. Mm -hmm.